There we go. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So, this conversation I had with a gentleman that uh, just replaced my windshield, actually. Very good guy, former uh, D1 football player. And uh, very fit. You know, you could tell when he asked me when I walked in, he's like, you're really, you look like an athlete. You're really, really, you know, really yoked. We had a conversation, you know, guy conversation that way about training, whatnot. But he had a question in regards to what is the best pre-workout. So, a fair question. What's the best pre-workout? Black coffee, guys. Yeah, that is simple and as basic and as effective as you can make it. Uh, you know, for those of you guys that have followed me a while, you know I'm not a, uh, you know, pill pusher when it comes to supplements much. Supplements are certainly useful. They can be used for certain things. Um, it's not as if supplements don't work. But in regards to, you know, the effectivity, you know, the context thereof, you have to know what you're taking. You have to be taking things for a reason. Pre-workouts, they are a dime a dozen. You know, I've worked for different companies that had, I, I've worked for companies that sold pre-workouts. Yeah, I've, I've been, a, I, when I was in the fitness industry more heavily, there were multiple you know, individuals, entities I worked for where we had whole lineups of pre-workouts, every kind of product. What's the best pre-workout? Uh, the best pre-workout is the mental maturity that you realize that you are being bought and sold and ripped off by an industry that is that exists solely to make money off of you, your preconceived false ideas that a pre-workout is going to be the superlative, amazing, workout amplifying, results generating, magical drink, and you buy into that idea and you spend ungodly amounts of money on procs that are nothing more than caffeine mixed in with some sweeteners, mixed in with some random ingredients, and that's your pre-workout. That's pre-workouts for you. Pre-workouts are, I'm not going to say they're completely bullshit, guys, but it's a, it's not, you know, pre-workouts are not a product that is grounded in reality, let's say. If I was to take a group of athletes, okay, I'd take a group of 10 of you guys, 10 guys and 10 guys, guys, girls, whatever, and I say, all right, I'm going to train both of you guys for 12 weeks. We're going to put on as much muscle as possible, and group one, I give a pre-workout to, and group two, you don't get a pre-workout. You just get told to focus, and I give you a pep talk each training session, and then you go train. I, I would pretty much guarantee, I would guarantee that the pre-workout group is going to build no more muscle than the non-pre-workout group. I would guarantee that. Pre-workouts, they're just, they're caffeine, and that's about it. That's the most effective ingredient. Yeah, there's pump products. Yeah, there's stuff that can help with blood flow. There's stuff that can help with hydration. Absolutely. But you can accomplish the same thing by getting a gallon jug of water, dropping in some creatine, adding some salt, drinking that while you train. You can buy some amino acids and make an intra-workout. Or you can buy a product that does that. But the idea that pre-workouts are this magical formula that, I don't know, it's like, you know, like steroids in a, in a, in a jar, basically. Uh, you know, somehow taking it is going to produce X amount more muscle. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's, it's, it's flat out, it's bullshit. Pre-workouts, -work, pre they will help you focus because they got some sort of stimulant. in them. That's it. That's it. You know, even the stuff I take, you know, Lion's Mane Mushroom uh, Extract with the, you know, the nicotine gum, makes me focus. You're hyper-focused. What does that do for you? When you're training, you're really into training. There's the secret sauce. In terms of the best pre-workout I've ever taken, I, the vast majority of the time, I drink black coffee before I train. Yeah, Ed Latmore popularized that. I got credit. Him and I should probably start a coffee company at this point. But I drink black coffee. I pour a cup of black coffee, two cups. I drink that. It makes me sweat a little bit because it's hot. Or, you know, someone's looking at the iced coffee. You guys have seen me do that lots of times. I drink the iced coffee. And I go work out. Th that's it. I like to smoke. I've never smoked in my life. Well, I take that back. I have smoked. I was not a smoker. I take the nicotine gum because it's, it's nootropic. A lot of you guys thought I smoked because I take, I take I chew the nicotine gum. It's not because I smoked. Nicotine is a nootropic. It has a lot of actual positive health effects if you do the research on it. Um, you know, and I don't have an addictive personality, so it's not like I'm popping nicotine gum 24-7. I'll chew a piece, you know, before I train. We call it jacked black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of saying it. So that's that's the rundown of pre-workouts. You can I could I could talk about individual ingredients and oh beta alanine does this oh that's cool and well, well if you take a bunch of arginine yeah arginine is kind of cool well, why not um yeah well but we think of creatine creatine can take you around great you can go on and on and on with pre-workout ingredients again in terms of actual training performance 
what gives you great training performance. Sleep, having a well-designed program, you know, your own mental state, and then this execution and discipline. You know, for the vast majority of human history, up, in, up until the 1980s, really, up until the 1990s, pre-workouts didn't even exist. You know, so, you know, those guys that we all look up to, per se, that we, you know, what do you think about zinc? Uh, well, you need zinc to live, so what, what do you mean Why I think about it? It's an essential micronutrient. Um, you know, up, up until the 1990s, pre-workouts didn't exist. They didn't. They didn't exist. Arnold didn't lift with pre-workout. You know, Franco didn't lift with pre-workout. You know, John Grimek in 1940 didn't lift with pre-workout. Steve Reeves, who looked like a Greek god, he never used pre-workouts. No, none of the guys with amazing physiques where you could look at them and say, damn, I'd want to look like that. Gentlemen, look at that man. That's a, that's a statue of a man right there. None of them used pre-workouts ever. They drank coffee. If you read what they did to train, a lot of them, they'd eat and drink coffee. They'd have a meal of steak and eggs and drink a bunch of coffee. Then you know, an hour later, they'd go train. It, there was no pre-workout. There were no proteins. There were hardly any protein supplements. You know, the idea of taking a product that would help you, you know, get into the zone, it, that was non-existent. It was not a thing. They were motivated to train because they had the internal drive of wanting to build their body and you know, apply mind power. They were they were not motivated to train because they took whatever the fuck Python pump at eight thousand with fifty things in it, and, and this is going to be the thing that unlocks muscle growth. Hell no. How do you doubt surge strength pre workout? No. And you could argue, you could you could come back with bullshit. Well, they were on steroids. Fuck you, you pussy piece of shit. They looked like how they looked like because of how they trained, because they wanted to embody something. You've never embodied shit, half of you guys that always say that. St steroids. Well, they took steroids. I could feed you steroids 24 7. The, uh, the, guys, the guys that always come back with that, I already know they're cowards. Abject, worthless piece of shit cowards. You will never train hard at anything in your life because you don't have the fucking balls. Don't ever, don't ever fucking come up on my feet with that, ever. Anyway, yeah, they didn't have pre workouts. So, what's the solution for you guys? Black coffee. What do you drink before you train? Black coffee. Straight black coffee. Do you drink? No, I don't drink. I drink very occasionally, and when I drink, I drink the flood. But I don't really don't drink. Are there any questions on this subject? I think this is pretty clear. You know what? I'll make a point to start a coffee company next year. Maybe this year. The steroids were the boost. It, it's not about the steroids. It, it, there's, there's natural bodybuilders that shit all over 99.999999% of human beings. The guys in this pre-steroid era were amazing looking. They looked how they looked like because they wanted to look that way and they trained to be transcendent, so to speak. You know, the steroid excuse, is, it's just weak people. I always know it's, it's, it's weak people. GLT talk was great, by the way. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys liked that. Yeah, that was, that was a really, I really enjoyed that, uh, speaking with him. Where are the benefits of nicotine? Look it up. Look it up. I, self, the supplement questions bore the living shit out of me. Not to be an asshole, but look it up. Examine.com nicotine, go look it up. I'm not going to rehash scientific research just for the sake of it. That, that information is available to you at your fingertips. Does black coffee end the fasting period? No. Black coffee doesn't have any calories in it. You're still fasting if you drink black coffee. I, I think coffee, yeah, maybe, what's, what's, the, what's the derivative of calories from coffee? You might get two, three, four calories from it. it it's nothing. What if I put, well, yeah, coffee, if it makes you defecate, then go defecate. What's the big deal? Is smoking marble? No, no, it's not. I would not recommend smoking cigarettes as a pre-workout. Does having sex pre-workout affect the workout? You tell me. That's up to you. Yeah, I really don't even see how that would be a question unless that's really an issue for you where your girl's begging, is begging you to bang her up before you go deadlift and squat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well then give the lady what she wants and go do your thing. Chewing tobacco. Disgusting. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Disgusting habit. You're asking for mouth cancer. I'd rather someone smoke than chew tobacco. You know, like, I mean, either way, you're going to kind of screw you over health-wise, but... Will social drinking and smoking eradicate a good training plan? Uh, it will certainly help diminish your results. Those things are not healthy for you. I don't think I need you to, I don't think you need me to tell you that. Nicotine gum lines may help me out more, stay afloat. Yeah, I realize that the synergistic effect, they both affect the acetylcholine pathway, but in two different ways. That's why the focus is so immense. 
I mean, case of muscle building, uh, testo love. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Speak clearly, people. Cigars only for me. Yes, I mean, cigar now, then is fine. Or nasal salt, if you want to do that. If, you know, if you want to. Yeah, taking smelling salts with you to the gym and ammonia caps, I guess. That's kind of a fun... I mean, I, I, training is a lifelong thing, guys. It's lifelong. If you really are in, dedicated to the process, you're going to be recreating yourself for, you know, to the day you die. Uh, you know, if you need to constantly hype yourself up with a bunch of shit, are you really that into it, really? Doubtful. Everybody I've ever known that gets really into pre-workouts where they're obsessed with getting themselves wired, they always burn out. I think they probably burn out their, all their receptor sites because it's just a constant overload of all these supplements, and then they just get sick of, you know, the hype, and then they injure themselves, and by the time they're 30, they, you know, they've, um, by the time they're 30, they have overdone it, let's say it that way. So that's a whiskey as a pre-workout, gives me, uh, if you, if you want to, alcohol does have a very temporary, temp, very temporary performance dancing effect. Um, again, but that sounds like a stupid, dumbass question. You're gonna, you're gonna do whiskey shots every time you go to train. I doubt that. But if you want to be that guy, by all means, go ahead. Yeah, guys, don't don't fucking kill me with bro questions. Like, I love you all, but I fucking hate you all at the same time. Sometimes the the, the bro the bro questions of just Jesus. You know, you, some of you, I question if you got two freaking IQ points to rub together. Yeah, let's, let's, let's apply a little bit of intelligence to what we ask. When you cook your ground beef, do you strain it after? No, I don't strain it. Are there natural fat burners? Yeah, sleep and uh, not eating. It's a natural fat burner. Sleep, fasting, not eating. Doing some cardio, doing some sprints, lifting weights. Those all help you burn body fat. What do you mean by natural? You have to qualify that. Natural, what the hell does that mean? I could argue that lifting weights isn't natural because you're in a machine designed environment with perfectly balanced weights. Is that natural? Probably not. What do you think about older men taking testosterone or G Oh, f fuck yeah. Testosterone decline is a massive epidemic across the entire of society. Men that take testosterone, you know, TRT, that's absolutely necessary. The vast majority of you guys probably have low testosterone and you don't even know it. That's why so many of you seem to be so goddamn sensitive. I, I, that's not even a question. What do, what do I think about that? that that's, a, that's a proven science. That, that's a proven health epidemic. You know, that's, it's multifactorial. It affects all of society. The testosterone collapse in the West is the result. The testosterone collapse in the West is the one of the factors that has resulted in the current state of the socioeconomic climate and human behavior. Those things are intricately tied together. A low testosterone society is a fearful society. Is a fearful society. That's how that works. And I'm not making that up, pulling it out of my ass. You can look, you can, there's a book on that called The Testosterone Hypothesis uh, by Roy Barzilai. Read it. I recommend archiving all of your Twitter threads if possible. Yeah, I probably should, but somebody else will do that for me, no doubt. Testosterone collapse of the West is, is the, that a myth? No, it's not a myth at all. There's scientific research that proves that unequivocally. Testosterone levels have been declining for like four or five... They've been declining for four or five decades now. That's not a question. It's, oh, do you think it's happening? And I don't think it's happening. It is happening. You know, the, the environment is so filled with the estrogenic compounds and xenoestrogens that, I mean, you, you, people have no idea. You know, that's why sperm counts are down so much. That's not random. These are not mysteries. You know, human beings at this stage of the game just seem very, very... We're very terrible, apparently, at connecting very obvious dots. Everything is interconnected to everything else. Does cortisol affect muscle building? Yes. If you have, if your cortisol levels are in excess, it will interfere with the anabolic processes. That's why stress management is so imperative. That's why sleep is so imperative. If your sleep is shitty and you're stressed out a lot, muscle is going to be slow to come by. Is three cups of black coffee a day bad for you? No. Coffee is not bad for you unless it is bad for you. Some people are very caffeine sensitive and coffee messes them up. If you're not, then you're not. What can I do to get harder erections? Uh, cardio, diet, exercise. If you need more help beyond that, go find a specialist because I don't feel like talking about your dick. Any final questions, guys? 
Now, you, guys, again, examine.com. Go to the website. You can type in supplements for libido. You can look everything up. Is 5,000 I use vitamin D too much today? No. Uh, again, all supplement questions. Go to examine.com. Look up whatever it is you're going to ask. It will probably have all the answers and more. Supplement questions annoy the living hell out of me because that's a basic bitch Google question. And you guys are too lazy to go ask type in the fucking words so you pop up on here and the time it would take you to ask me and me have me yell at you you could have found the answers any final questions can you give me a quote of the day unfuck yourself have a good day have a good day, have a good day you guys all right, good talk. How long before a workout would be best drink a cup of that coffee? A cup of black coffee? Uh, let's say about 30 minutes or so. That's about when the caffeine will start to kick in. So, thanks anyway. Examine.com it is for now. Yeah, I, I, guys, again, I'm serious. Examine, encyclopedic, super comprehensive resource. Tells you how to take it, what it does. The Hema Studies gives you everything about literally every supplement in existence. That's why I find no reason for me to try and answer those questions. Uh, you can go find that information you know, the scientific, you know, categorization laid out for you very clearly, so on and so forth. All right, guys, good talk. Talk to you all again.